I'm trying to not eat as much food. I'm trying to eat gum to try and prevent me from eating all my food and getting fat. You might be wondering if this has any point to the review. It doesn't. But it's kind of like the movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Birds of Prey, the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I think that's the title of it. I didn't get to see this in theaters because uh, I just didn't have really a want to watch it. And when I did watch it, I wasn't upset that I didn't see this in theaters. This movie is kind of a mixed bag. It's really trying to be a Deadpool movie, but not be a Deadpool movie. The Harley Quinn character portrayed by Margot Robbie is very well done. Like she's a perfect casting and she does the best with what she has. However, the amount of MacGuffins and the amount of just spontaneousness and very, very, very heavy lack of direction kind of makes this movie a very big mess to watch even though it's like an hour and 48 minutes. It's jumping back and forth with its plot quite a bit but obviously it's kind of trying to replicate that of Harley's mind. Harley's mindset is all over the place. I can understand what they're doing that from a narrative perspective. However, watching it is a fucking pain in the ass. The amount of time that the film will come to a dead goddamn halt and then go back in time for reasons that are almost not important at all, just exposition, if anything at all, and then it comes back to the current time. This happened about three times before the first hour, and by the third time happening, I think it was in the police station, I was like, oh my god, if this happens again, I'm going to lose it. But it did, it happened several times afterwards. It's a funny movie to watch in a sense. It, it gave me a couple chuckles here and there. For the first time directing a big budget film like this, she does a decent-ish job. She does better than most, especially considering how heavy action oriented this film is. There are some scenes that she either did a lot of research into how she shot it or she had some assistance from stunt coordinators, but some action scenes, some fight scenes are actually pretty well choreographed. Even if everyone is fighting like Assassin's Creed style, all standing there waiting one at a time before they go up and get their ass kicked by Harley. There were certain scenes that weren't the greatest, like Black Canary's first scene where she does some cool kicks. Like some of the kicks are good, but it seems so stagnant. However, there are other fight scenes that are very well done, very well choreographed, like the fight scene in the evidence room. That was actually pretty well done. The bat work with Pretty impressive. And then the end fight scene, as stupid, stupid as that whole situation is, all the guys with guns wait outside where as guys with no guns and like toy hammers go in. And that's going back to one of the big problems I have with this film is that it's a checklist. It's checking off certain aspects of the characters, certain aspects of the plot. Even freaking Black Mask is a checklist. He's not even that interesting of a villain. Ewan McGregor, I liked Ewan McGregor as a villain in his first introduction where he sees the nose bubble and the girl, he was gonna let her go. He's like, ew, that's gross. Look at this germaphobe. I like that aspect of it, but then it never really devolves into anything afterwards. Like the scene where he makes the girl dance. I don't know, it just it seemed kind of out of place and it didn't really establish anything about the character so when the film kind of comes to its end and he's standing there with the mask you haven't even explained why he wears the fucking mask obviously he's a germaphobe but you don't explain anything about that he's just wearing the mask because his name is black mask like don't get me wrong there's some nice visual styles to it it's trying to be a better version of suicide squad if anything but it still has a lot of issues narrative wise some of the jokes are a little bit heavy-handed. I'm not gonna get into the whole feminism thing. It didn't bother me too much, but there were some times where it's like, oh, okay, whatever. It's just, as a movie, it's a very disjointed film because it's just, it's just a mess. It's just a big narrative mess. Also, Huntress is barely in this goddamn movie. She's the most interesting character out of all of them besides Harley. In the end, I'm gonna give Birds of Prey a three out of seven. It's, it's not bad. It's not a badly put together film. And, terms of other aspects, not including the narrative. It, again, for a big budget movie directed by a director who's never done one before, she does a pretty decent job, considering also how heavy action orientated it was. Anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.